in Access 2007. What we're going to do is I'm going to take my latest data from my YouTube videos downloaded from YouTube. It's in an Excel worksheet format. We're going to take that Excel worksheet. We're going to import it into Access, but first we're going to clean up a little bit of the data in Excel first. First of all, I'm going to save it as a different file name because it's read-only right now. All right, it's been saved. I want to resort this from date descending. So I clicked in the top left corner of Excel, data sort. That should be date descending, I suppose. Sort descending. Click OK. So now we're at the 17th. We've got these views here. I'm going to import this into Access. This is the existing form I use to keep track of my videos in YouTube. But we're going to go to the navigation pane and we're going to get external data Excel and we'll browse we're going to import that Excel worksheet into a new table in the current database I'm going to just keep those field names the same I'm going to knock all that stuff out there's no data there I'm going to let access add the primary key this is going to be the name of the table YouTube stats underscore November 18, 2009. I'm not going to have the wizard analyze the table because it's a pretty straightforward table. I'll hit finish. And you can see the table here. It's called U2. Stats November 18th. I'm going to open it in the table view for a moment and just do a quick bomb up and down. What I'm going to ensure is that these are actually numbers. This is actually a date time field. So I'll go to design view of this table and I'm going to knock out all that stuff out there. There's nothing out there. And as you can see, yes, the date is a date time, which is fine. The views is a number. That's great. All this other stuff here, we're knocking out. What I'm primarily concerned with right now are views. So I'm going to do a quick query and sum up the views. All right, my query I have not saved yet. I took the YouTube stats table drop down the ID number. I use the criterion. I want to see the last four days. So it's between November 14, 2009 and November 18, 2009. The views are there. I'm going to save this query right now. Let's call it N underscore 14 NOV underscore 18 underscore query. Now we're going to make a new query based on adding the sum of those views. And we'll go to design. I'm going to make this like a math deal over here. Actually, you can't see it here, but the totals for the math is just to the right, as you're undoubtedly aware. And it's going to be sum. We will now look at the query view 1057. We will now save this query. So November 14th underscore November 18th underscore views total 1057. And that's briefly how you take Excel data from YouTube, import it into Access, shape the data, and do some calculations.